Peace graduates. I am Dr. Regina Stanbeck Stroud, the Chancellor of the Peralta Community College District. And on the behalf of the Peralta Community College District Board of Trustees, the community we serve, the professional staff, the esteemed faculty, and extraordinary administrative leadership team, all educators who played a role in getting you to this point, I want to welcome you to the 2020 commencement ceremony. And while I have your attention and hopefully for the next three minutes, I want to convey how important you are. This society needs you. For what you ask, we need you to have a critical consciousness about the way of the world and how you dedicate your life's work to making it better for others. We need you to stand up and speak out to preserve this planet so that future generations behind you, so that future generations can thrive. We need you to value science, the arts, humanities, social sciences as significant factors that should inform our way of being. And we need you to have a purpose. It's a purpose that would be informed by people that you care for, by the passions you have and the lived realities of your own lives, but it is a purpose nonetheless that is far greater than yourself. You see, you are graduating at a time where there are those that are in some of the highest and most powerful offices of the land who are literally debating what has been known as settled science. They are normalizing issues in society that had been rendered unacceptable, such as racism and bigotry and inhumane public policy that separates families and issues that exacerbate human misery. Many of them are educated, but they have allowed ideology to override their educated selves. So I will ask you to take care and to be aware, to use your education to make the world better. Yes, you are educated. You have the ability to articulate your knowledge in ways that serve you and others. However, to do so, you have to have a critical consciousness in this globalized context, some cultural and social and racial literacy. I want you to understand and to acknowledge the power of language. And I want you to understand and acknowledge the language of power. That's what you must remember. If you're to use your education to make a difference in this world, to make sure that it even mattered that you were on this earth in the first place, an intense understanding of the concepts of power and the socio-political underpinnings that impact our realities are a prerequisite, not only for your success, but for our survival. Here's another memorable part. I ask you to take a look. Think of the faculty who served you in this journey. If you have seen it, think of them in their academic regalia as I am wearing now. This is what it looks like to give a lifetime work, commitment, scholarship, and service to making sure that you have this moment in time to serve in something other than yourselves. So take a moment and consider the sheer selflessness of this type of commitment that the faculty have made to you. Another thing, you did not get here alone. You had help along the way from someone, friends, families, strangers, now it's time for you to consider helping others. Start a small scholarship, even if it's just a hundred bucks that buys a book or some class material for someone else who's coming up behind you. Contact Lenise Jones over in this Peralta Community College District Foundation office and pay it forward as you leave us behind. Remember this college. Think of us as you make career choices. Come back and be professors and directors and coordinators and vice presidents and public safety officers and facilities staff and classified staff and auxiliary staff and even presidents and chancellors. Come back because we so desperately need and appreciate you in order to stand up here the next year and the next year and the next year in service of those who will follow you. Finally, leave us with this idea in mind this nation of immigrants is already great because people used their strength in education, no matter what level, formal or informal, to work hard, 
to challenge the status quo and to stand up to injustice. People looked at the issues of their times and gave their blood, sweat, and tears, and hearts and souls so that many could learn, so that you could learn, so that you could live together, walk together, talk, eat, play together. Moreover, believe it or not, these rights and privileges are not set in stone. If you fail to pay attention, to act, you can lose the very thing that lives were lost to get for you in the first place, and that is your democracy, your freedom, much, many of us take for granted. So we are witnessing firsthand what it looks like to deny the humanity of wholesale communities, of people based on their immigration status. And this nation was built by immigrants who voluntarily and involuntarily arrived at our shores. It is great because of immigrants. Let us not forget what it looks like when we are kind, when we are caring, when we are empathetic and compassionate to no end. That's what it looks like when we are educated as well. If you have the right and the ability to do so, then vote. Vote as if your lives and the lives of people that you love depend on it, because it does. I wish you all the success and the happiness you deserve. Congratulations to all of you, class of 2020. Greetings, Merritt College graduates. My name is Dr. David M. Johnson, and I'm the president of Merritt College. Today, I have the honor and pleasure of congratulating you on this amazing accomplishment. My heart swells with pride and excitement as I reflect upon what you have had to overcome to attain this educational goal and what you are yet to achieve as you embark upon the rest of your academic and professional career. But before I go any further, I need to say a word about your incredible courage and commitment. As we are all well aware, we currently face tremendous challenges and hardships as a global community. You all have been thrusted into a set of circumstances that no one could have anticipated just a few short months ago. But rather than let those circumstances derail your progress, you took your fate into your own hands. You refused to be defined by the obstacles. You persevered and prevailed. And today, you can take solemn pride in knowing that despite the odds, you made it. You are exceptional. You are Merritt College graduates. Now, if the old adage is true, and a tree must be judged by the fruit that it bears, then I take great comfort in the knowledge that you will go out into the world and make your mark. As Merritt College graduates, you not only shape the identity of this institution, you constitute its soul. So as you leave here, please remember this. You must be fearless and undeterred in the pursuit of your goals. You must dream big and then challenge yourself to go out and get what you just envisioned. You must take the knowledge you have attained, the experiences you've gained, and the relationships you forged to spur you on to greatness. That is what being a Merritt College graduate means. That is what we expect of you. And that is what your family and community need from you. Finally, I want to say something about this robe that I'm wearing. I want you to remember this. You may not have one on right now, but you must never forget that you have earned the right to wear it. And this is no small thing, because there are only three vocations that entitle one to wear this robe. Our clergy, who we entrust with inspiring our faith and inculcating our values. Our judges, who we entrust with maintaining our laws and opposing injustice and our scholars, who we entrust with maintaining our knowledge and advancing our understanding. So Merritt College, class of 2020, please allow me to welcome you to the company of scholars. Congratulations and Godspeed. Hello and greetings to the class of 2020. This is Julina Bonilla, the board president of the Peralta Community College District. I'm sending you this message via pre-record um, 
with a very heavy heart. Um, as we are in the middle of COVID-19, I don't want that to take away at all from all of the hard work, the dedication that you um, have accomplished in achieving um, your goals and your dreams um, this year in 2020. I wanna thank you um, for um, bringing to Peralta, um, the Peralta Community Colleges, your best um, efforts, um, especially enduring um, all that you must as students to accomplish your goals. I think, I think you're all amazing. I look forward to um, hearing more about your future endeavors, um, about your uh, continued education and professional goals, and really um, want to just thank you from the bottom of my heart um, that um, we appreciate you, we honor our students. I am honored um, to be a trustee in this district um, to represent you and your educational goals. I also want to thank your families and friends for all the support that they offered you uh, during this particular time. And um, I just want to say, stay strong, think positive. We will get through uh, this current situation, um, although I know that it will forever change um, how we move in the world, we will move differently. But I also think that because of you and because of your um, ingenuity because of your um, perspective on life that you will also um, be a force in helping us um, create a pathway forward. Again, congratulations to you class of 2020. I look forward um, to talking with you in the very near future. This is Congresswoman Barbara Lee representing the beautiful 13th Congressional District of California, the most enlightened district in the nation, and that's because of you. This is a very difficult time for everyone, and I am so sorry I can't be there to say congratulations in person. But let me take this moment to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. We are facing an unprecedented challenge in our country and around the planet because of this deadly pandemic. As of today, more than 86,000 people have lost their lives in this country, and a disproportionate number of those are people of color. Every one of those losses is a tragedy, and my heart and condolences go out to those families and friends who have lost loved ones. I want to recognize all of the frontline workers in hospitals, in grocery stores, in emergency services, our postal workers, everyone who is working every day to keep people safe and healthy and fed. I'm here in Washington, D.C., working very hard to get support for families and communities that have been hardest hit by this virus. It is critical that we keep working to get everyone the help they need. We can't allow poor people and communities of color to bear the worst burdens of this crisis while we bail out the wealthiest corporations. To this year's graduates of Berkeley City College, the College of Alameda, Laney College, and Merritt College, I know you are graduating in uncertain times, but your time has come to rise to these occasions. But I wanna tell you, that I am so proud of you for all of the work you have done to get to this point. All of you have faced adversity and prevailed to get here today. This is a real accomplishment and you all deserve to celebrate today. And remember that this is just the beginning. Keep working hard and keep fighting for what you believe in. You have many more accomplishments and successes ahead of you. And a special thank you to the teachers and staff of Peralta Colleges, to Chancellor Stroud, and to the Board of Trustees. I am truly inspired by the work that you do every day for these beautiful and brilliant students. Finally, no matter what you do after you graduate, be bold, be fearless, be compassionate, be visionary, and yes, shake things up. You are the new generation of leaders who will save the planet, who will bring peace to a world torn by violence, who will realize true criminal justice reform,
who will strengthen our public education system for the young people following in your footsteps. I'll leave you with the words of one of the greatest humanitarians of our time, Marion Wright Edelman, founder of the Children's Defense Fund. She said, education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and the world better than you found it. With your pursuit of education and your achievements here today, you have the capacity to change the lives of people around the world for the better, and I am confident that you will do it. So once again, congratulations to graduates of the Peralta Community Colleges. Graduates of 2020, it is such an honor to be here with you today and to celebrate your amazing and wonderful achievements. As I thought about what I'd say to you today, I thought back to my own graduation and the commencement speaker who did the most curious and unusual thing. His entire speech was only two words. He said, go on. He said go on for 15 minutes, over and over again. Since then, I've realized that his speech was actually brilliant. It's been over 30 years, and not only did I not forget it, but it's also helped me through some really tough times. Today, I've decided to give you one word, and I hope that when you look back on this day, you will remember to be intentional. At some point at the beginning of this journey, you said to someone, I'm gonna get my degree at Merritt College in chemistry or communications or rad tech or CIS. Already, you were intentional. Today, you are demonstrating to your family, to your friends, and to everyone here that you mean what you say, that you finish what you start, and that you are intentional about creating your future. As together, we make meaning out of everything that is happening right now, we have an opportunity to be more than we ever envisioned. It's difficult navigating so many unknowns and adjusting to a new and uninvited normal. But not one of you let any of that get in your way of being here today and taking your place as a proud graduate of Merritt College. You are intentional. The more education we have, the more responsibility we have. Part of that responsibility is refusing to let life or situations define us. Growing up in difficult circumstances, being a single parent, moving through big losses, none of those things define who we are. If we are intentional about how we respond to life's unexpected turns, we reclaim our power and our purpose. We decide what defines us. Be intentional in the way that you choose your goals. Your goals become reality. Be intentional about your words. What you say and how you say it become the memories that people have of you for the rest of their lives. Be intentional in the way that you love. How you love and show up in this world will become your legacy. This time, for example, make this moment one that sparkles among your memories, capturing the time that you rose above a global pandemic and all of the other challenges that stood in your way. Freeze this moment so that you can pull it out whenever you need to remind yourself of who you are and what you're capable of. And remember this, this is really important. Never ever let anyone tell you what you can't do. Your next certificate, your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, your doctorate, your next dream job. All of these accomplishments are within your grasp because you have proven with your courage, tenacity, and determination that you are intentional. In closing, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite quotes by L.R. Nost. Do not be dismayed by the brokenness of the world. All things break, and all things can be mended. Not with time, as they say, but with intention. So go, love intentionally, extravagantly, and unconditionally. The broken world waits in darkness for the light that is you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome. My name is Dr. Lilia Chavez. I'm your Vice President of Student Services. On behalf of Student Services, we lift you up in love. It has been an amazing journey. You set goals for yourself and stayed on the path and accomplished your dreams. We have seen you grow and now you are transitioning to the next phase of your life. All your work is not in vain as your accomplishments are the foundation to your legacy. Remember that you are carrying the torch to honor your ancestors, family, and community. 
Know that you have a greater purpose in life. In whatever you do, remember this moment of joy that came from your commitment and perseverance. You passed every test placed before you. Know that you are whom we have been waiting for. This is a sacred moment for which we celebrate you. We, as your merit family from all races and nations, come together to honor you and lift you up to stand up and step up for divine social justice. Live your passion and trust in yourself. We are proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. To the 2020 graduating class for Merritt College, my name is Tom Renbarker. I am a professor of physics and astronomy at Merritt College and also the Merritt College Academic Senate President. First of all, I would like to give you my congratulations for your having made it to graduation. Um, as educators, this is what we live for, your success. And I know that many of the, my fellow faculty and myself were drawn to the mission of Merritt College with its open enrollment policies to make higher education available to everyone. We teach to the 100%. Each and every one of you is important to us. I understand that the circumstances of the graduation ceremony may not be exactly what you have, would have wanted it to be, but that's still just a token of what you accomplished. And your accomplishments, no one can take that away from you. Given the extraordinary circumstances in which you're graduating into and the perseverance that you have exhibited in completing your educational work at Merritt College, please know that you'll be able to accomplish anything that you set your mind to. And so in conclusion, we congratulate you once again on the awesome accomplishment of completing your education at Merritt College and then wherever that takes you, we're sure that you'll succeed. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carmen Johnson, and on behalf of the Merritt College professionals, I'd like to congratulate you all on your amazing academic accomplishments. The world has changed unmanageably over the last couple of months, and despite all the changes, it is imperative that we acknowledge your perseverance and intellect. Throughout this time, you have all remained disciplined and focused, and it is important to keep those qualities with you as you move forward in life. Surround yourself with positive energy and continue to connect and reconnect with those who provide resources and guidance. Remain optimistic about life, for you have proven your incredible ability with your studies, and we salute you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hello fellow Merritt College graduates. My name is Spencer Staggers Elmore. I am your Associate Students of Merritt College President the recipient of the President's Medallion and also the recipient of the Chancellor's Award for the 2020 year. I know this isn't the graduation that we all were expecting, but know that this does not discredit the work that we've done for the past years. I know I've been at Merritt for four years, but I also know it's been the most fruitful and rewarding experience I've had, and I'm excited to see what the next chapter has to bring for all of us. So please note that us as students, we have the power to change and do anything that we want to do for our future. So as your president, just know I was happy to represent you. I'm still happy to call Merritt my home and know that Merritt is always with you, especially with any kind of chapter that you choose to do. Peralta Chancellor's Office, Board of Trustees, Merritt College staff, faculty, administration, and most importantly, the class of 2020. My name is Yamis Alajay Johnson. I am a comms major at Merritt College, and I am congratulating you all on this year's graduation. It is with a heavy heart that I have to deliver the speech to you by video and not see your beautiful and handsome faces at the Paramount Theater, celebrating what we've accomplished so far. However, it is in light that we did this. When I first came to Merritt College in fall 2016, I knew what I wanted, but I wasn't sure how to execute it. Thanks to many mentors like Dr. Marie Elaine Burns, Linda Handy, Doris Hankins, Tashetta Henry, Dr. David M. Johnson, who was our acting president, and many more stunning individuals, they have helped me through this college, um, through my toughest times, even when I could barely walk in, in back in fall 2018. 
I know for many of us, we face so many adversities, but congratulate yourself. You've come so far. Even though this national pandemic has put us in such a horrible situation, we have been able to see through the light, step up and continue to get our education. Look at where we're at today, continuing to grow our knowledge. We all should be proud of what of becoming Merritt College alumni today. We are the reasons why they work so hard every day so just so they can celebrate today with us our accomplishments through all circumstances. Congratulations class of 2020. I'm looking forward to what we can do in the future. Hello fellow graduates. My name is Jocelyn Andaya Cohen. In 2007, I migrated from the Philippines. English was not my first language, and I was learning how to navigate in a new culture while studying over 12 units per semester. That's right, I've been in a Peralta system for what seems like ages, working on my growth and development. I often worked 50 hours a week or more, but keep squeezing in academics to add knowledge to enhance my entrepreneurial career. Every time I learned something new from a course, it sparked my brain. Instructors give me ideas that I utilized to expand my critical thinking and problem-solving skills. My business instructor at Merritt College, Mrs. Mufidi, told us, you don't have to love each other, but learn how to work together. This stuck with me and enhanced my skills in collaborating with others, and I discovered how much I love teamwork. When I registered for Miss Graves English 10, a poetry class at Laney College, I didn't think that using our senses could be a valuable asset in writing. Despite the fact we were taught to use our senses in grammar school. She would say, when you are on the way to class, what do you see, feel, hear, and smell? Sometimes she had us go out of the classroom to observe our surroundings and come back to the classroom to use our experience as motivation to start writing. At the end of the semester, Jackie Graves told me to publish some of my work for the kids to read, homework for Mother's Day, and so on. Her encouragement was the bridge for me to create even better to serve young children and adults. I thought about what else I could do to support my community better. All of us are teachers. We can motivate and inspire others. Fellow graduates, we can make a difference in the world. And today is proof of a new beginning. Keep in mind, in this ever-changing and fast-paced world, we need to keep upgrading and improving ourselves because knowledge is power. Fellow graduates, I want to congratulate you on your accomplishments. After studying so hard for years, often with three to four hours of sleep, juggling between jobs, taking care of our families, and at the same time, we managed to go to college. Our hard work is paying us back. On behalf of the graduating class, thank you to all who participated in making Merritt College's virtual commencement 2020 happen. Also, thank you to the faculty, classified staff, administrators, students, videographer, my former Phi Theta Kappa officer teams, Miss, Mrs. Barbara Dumopoulos, my Phi Theta Kappa advisor, her husband, Bell, and to my husband who helped me to succeed. Again, congratulations to the graduates of 2020 at Merritt College. Thank you. Graduates of the class of 2020, it is my privilege to address you as we recognize and celebrate your graduation from Laney College. While not in a traditional format, given our need to stay in place to protect each other, our loved ones, and the broader community, 
I hope you know that the entire Laney College community, our faculty and staff, and your fellow students are delighted by your success and reading you on to your next great endeavor. As we embark on a new decade, most of us couldn't have foreseen the challenges of a global pandemic, stay in place orders, new modes of learning, and the need to juggle not only being learners, but teachers to our children and support providers to our loved ones. I know there will be months of analyzing timelines, decrying decisions, and grappling with how best we find our way out of this crisis that has frayed the fabric of our institutions and our communities in terms of the way we work, play, and commune with each other. But I have no doubt in my mind that we have the incredible capacity to not only survive, but eventually thrive. And I look no farther than you, graduates of the class of 2020, as my evidence. Despite every challenge and the moving goalposts, you have persevered and continue to ensure that the story of you and your educational journey would be the triumph in the madness. It is the recognition of your grit, determination, and incredible intelligence. The story you will tell your children or your children's children's children will no longer be the one my grandparents told me about walking back and forth to school every day barefoot each way up a hill and in two feet of snow. But it will be the story of the power you had to adapt, to pivot, and to be brave in the face of a global health crisis while staying committed to your academic and personal goals. When we talk about resiliency, innovation, and the true spirit of this moment, yours and that of our amazing Laney College faculty and staff will be the story I'll tell. My hope for you and for our global community is that this crisis has shown us not only our resiliency, but our interconnectedness across cities, towns, and countries and that it connects us more deeply to an ethic of the generosity of spirit, where we are kinder to each other and give each other a bit more grace. I see the opportunity for a more compassionate global community that not only understands that a fire spreads from home to home very quickly, but they understand that the quicker we work together to put it out means it doesn't spread. Here in Oakland, I've seen more acts of kindness and the recognition that our pain is shared. And I look no farther than you, again, class of 2020, for the ways in which you recognized our need to pivot instruction and services to remote modalities while remaining supportive and patient as we work together. Graduates, today we celebrate your tremendous accomplishment of completing your degrees and certificates. We will confer upon you the rights and privileges of a college graduate and certify that you have demonstrated the depth and breadth of knowledge in your major and in the wider world. I am confident that you have been prepared to deal with the complexity, diversity, and change in our local and global communities through your critical thinking and integration of all you've learned. And I hope you will continue to be the system systems changers, the advocates, the innovators, the hope we have for decades to come. Stand tall today and every day because you have shown the intelligence, determination, and grit that will serve you in any endeavor you undertake or any challenge set before you. By the virtue of the authority granted by the state of California and the powers vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Peralta Community College District, I hereby confer upon you, the graduates of the class of 2020, the associate degrees and certificates certified by the college, your division deans and faculty with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. My, heart, my heartfelt congratulations to you all. My name is Jialing Huang, the 2020 President Medallion Awardee. Today, I feel so honored to be able to talk to you who have burst off to choose to attend college. You have been hardworking, persistent, and self-management enough to earn this degree even during these challenging times. Let's give ourselves a round of applause and be proud of what we have achieved. Graduating from college, we did it! It's never easy for me to graduate. 
immigrate to America two and a half years ago, I feel so lost in this new environment. Language barrier, feeling lonely, culture shock, and experiencing social injustice was a giant hand holding my door, making me feel hard to breathe. As a first-generation low-income college student, I have worked 20 hours per week while enrolled 15 units every semester. Even though I have to stay up late to do my assignment every night while bearing unexpected mental pressure, I never feel regret attending college. My unique college experience here has reshaped my future, giving me a chance to thrive and succeed in America. Being able to study and work at Lenny College is one of the most wonderful things that happened to me. Lenny is special. It's my first school in America, and it's also offered me my first job. During my time here at Lenny, I started two student club. I have also served as a treasurer in the 2018 to 2019 student government. All this experience has made me who I am now. I am braver, stronger, more confident and happier. I want to say thank you to all who have helped me. Thank you, President Gilkerson, Gary O'Berry, the Director of Student Activities and Campus Life, David Lee, the Director of APAS, Hui Jun Su, Evelyn Moreno, and all the instructors who have been kind and supportive to me. Last but most importantly, I want to thank my parents who always had my back and always there for me no matter what happened. Now, I'm transferring to UC Berkeley and will continue my journey of higher education. Graduation is a chance for us to look at the past, but most importantly, for us to look on what the future. No matter what your plan is, you are going to enter the next step of your life. I wish you all the best. And most importantly, don't forget Lenny when you become a billionaire. Thank you.